George, a frustrating end to the afternoon. What was your assessment of that? I thought our first half was, was really good. I thought we put ourselves in a, in a good, strong position. Um, and second half, I think we uh, strayed from what we set out to do a little bit. Um, you know, we, we didn't execute a few plays and probably gave away a few too many penalties. And um, yeah, in a, getting a yellow card here at Welford Road and being down really hurt us. So it was, um, you know, it was a fair outcome, to be honest. And that first half in particular absorbed an awful lot of pressure, but then, then ter in terms of in attack, we got some points and went into the lead. So you must have been impressed with that first half, but hoping for more of the second, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Like it was, it was a dogfight of the first half, and, and I was pretty happy that we went in, uh, you know, in the lead there. And um, you know, we knew it was going to be a really hard second half, but you, you've got to be clinical. You've got to be really on point. And um, you know, if you if you lose a man, they're going to make you pay for it. And unfortunately, we you know we were probably uh, about 80, 85 percent of our game in the second half, and, and that little margin was was enough for them to take advantage. And a side like Leicester really do punish you if you, if you give away penalties. And, and it, it almost added up a little bit in the second half. The field position, they really start to turn into points every time they visited the 22 and that ultimately... Hurts. Yeah, I mean, those penalties in our half at the end, obviously, they, they just kept slotting them through. And then, you know, the game gets away from you a little bit and, and you're chasing it and you probably make a few decisions you wouldn't make. Um, and then they caught us out again. You know, we tried to run it from our own 22 and, and they caught us over and we slip over and they get another penalty. And, the game's sort of dead and buried. So, um, you know, the boys fought hard. Look, their, their, their physicality, their work rate, you know, which you have to have to come somewhere like this, I, I thought was up a, up a notch from uh, Exeter in our last game. But, um, you know, we're quite honest about it. We've got to be more clinical than that. And, um, you know, we, we have to take our medicine, but we definitely learned some valuable lessons from this one. And not quite getting that losing bonus point, which will be frustrating as well. But it's kind of credit to the, the way that the, you know the players carried on fighting to be to be in with a shout out getting a losing bonus point in the end yeah I, I, like we, they never give up like I say the, the, that's we've just talked about that there the, the the fight and the work ethic is is second to none you know there's there's never a moment you watch us and you think the boys are throwing in the towel or giving up obviously it's disappointing to work our way down the field and then um, not execute our line out play at the end but that's the way it goes you know it's um, Leicester deserve their victory tonight and, and we've just got to take that and like I say there's there's a lot of good learnings from that game for our boys. And as I said, there are lots of learnings of fuel for the fire for Northampton next week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, we just got to get prepared for Northampton now. You know, we'll review this and, and be very, very honest about it. Um, you know, we wanted to see where we're at and, and that gives us a clear picture. So, yeah, we just get ready for Northampton and, and knuckle down and, and prepare for an exciting game at Kingshome.